Hi, this is B. Reese with Media Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to talk to you about how to work with cameras in uh, iPhone 8. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to create, get a scene. We have a scene and we have several different cameras already set up. I'm going to show you how I did that. We have this camera, this camera, we have the preview camera, and we have the wide angle camera. Okay, we're going to start off with the camera here, the one pointing at Brenda. Okay, and her two cohorts there. The way we do this is we go to Create, and then we come down here to where it says Cameras, and we create a camera. Go ahead and click on the camera. And once you create a camera, once you click the camera, it actually puts the camera here in your scenes. Okay, so then you go to each camera, one at a time, and you set them up. Okay, so right now we're at cameras, we're at um, Brenda's camera. So what we're going to do is just zoom in just a little bit so you can see. We just make adjustments to where you want it to point. You go to the next one. And you do the, exactly the same thing. Zoom in, zoom out. This is the wide angle. Make sure that we have the wide angle. Okay, so we back that out. Go ahead and hold down your Alt key and your left mouse button. And you can move this up a little bit. Because we want a wide angle, we want to be able to see Brenda and uh, Michelle. Okay, and the two guys. Okay, and not only that, but when we look at Michelle, we want to be able to see what's behind Michelle. Okay, it's Michelle in this giant container and her bike. Okay, so we have all of those. So how do we set it up? First thing we need to do is come out of here. Okay, and go over here to the top where it says Michelle. And the cameras go ahead, put it on switch. Select that to switch. Make sure that none of these are selected here. Go ahead and click the button there. Or click the box. Just deselect it. You don't want any problems. Okay, so then you go back over here to where it says switcher. And when you go to switcher, you click on that. And every time you want to change the camera, you right click on the panel on this line right next to switcher. Okay, and it gives you this option to pick up a list of different cameras. First, we want to start out with Brenda. So we click Brenda. Make sure it's on the Brenda camera. Okay, so when you're ready to switch the cameras, which is already doing this, go ahead and delete all of those. So I can show you the right way. Okay, so now we go ahead and put this back at the beginning. Okay, now we have him watching her, but we don't want that. We want to go ahead and switch this over to the main camera, which is the Zoom Brenda camera. We want to start here. When Brenda starts talking, this is what's going to happen. Okay, Brenda's talking. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the Michelle camera. So what, what do we do? We go ahead and right click here on the timeline. Go down to the Michelle camera. And it's watching Michelle once Michelle's done talking. Okay, then you go ahead and switch it back to Michelle again, to us, Brenda, by right clicking here, okay, on the timeline, choose the Brenda camera, because Brenda's got something else to say, and when she finishes talking there, go ahead and switch it to the wide angle camera, because you want to see Brenda, you want to see Michelle walk across the screen. Okay, so we go ahead and right click here again, on the timeline, and you go back to wide angle, you want to see that. Okay, so now what we do, we go back to the beginning, and normally we start out with her. We'll go ahead and start there anyway, we don't really matter. Okay, so we go ahead and click the play button. Starts out with Brenda. Let's put this over to Brenda. Okay, so switch this back to Michelle. Once Michelle gets through talking, it switches back to Brenda again. Okay, then it switches back to wide angle. Okay, and we watch. Michelle walk across the screen. Okay, so that's how you set it up. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Just need to make sure that when you set it up, make sure none of these are selected, because if you do, it'll show up in the timeline. See how Michelle is showing up down there with the wide angle and this guy too. So make sure that none of these scenes are selected. Make sure you click away from it so you make sure that these are deselected. Okay, once you deselected them, then you go up here and switch this to switch. You don't want this on preview. You don't want it on any one particular angle. You want it on switch because you want to be able to switch them down here in your timeline. Okay, that's all for today. 
Hope you got something out of that. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was step by step and hope I didn't venture off too far. Anyway, have a great day. See you in the next one. B. Reese with Video Solutions. Here to teach you technology. 3D and iClone 8.